down now. Been better than worse. Been better than worse. It's okay. Shit. I'm Detective John Hall. Nice to meet you. I'm John Hall. Sorry. Yeah. Full count shake. Good. Uh, good. Right. How you doing? Oh, dude. Not too shabby. You got a lighter? Um. Give it a minute. Like, I'm Detective Johnny Hill from the Union County Prosecutor's Office. This is Detective Joe Mendes. Uh, the time is approximately 9.25 p.m., okay? Uh, we're down here because they talked to me about a, uh, the homicide um, that you're being talked with in New Jersey. Um, so before we go any further, I'm advising you on your charges. It's a first-degree homicide murder, um, and I'm going to give you your name the morning. So what I want you to do is I want you to read this, and then we'll, we'll go on from the corner, okay? This is going to be constitutional uh, rights. And this is a reference to case 2013-S008. Uh, the time today is... Um, May 16th, 2013, and like I said before, the time is approximately 9.25 p.m. And currently we are at the homicide unit at the Philly Police Department, okay? Um, can you read it? I can read it, is it? Okay, why don't you go through, pull up the chair a little closer. If it wasn't both to the floor. Right, pull up the floor. All right. Um, why don't you read this out loud? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand this? Do you understand that? Uh, yeah. Okay. If you understand that, I need you to put your initials on that. Anything? And then write yes, if you understand that. Anything you say can and will be used to you in court of law. When you speak up loud. Yeah. It, it says anything you can and say will be used against you in a court of law. I wrote, yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. Do you understand this? Yes. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand this? Yes. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights to not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand this? Yes. Okay. I need you to read the bottom as well. Out loud. I have read this statement of my rights and I understand what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. No promises or threats have been made to me and no pressure or coercion of any kind has been used against me. Do you understand that? Um, yeah, can I smoke that cigarette before signing? Oh, actually, um... Let me, let me, just, just, let me just step out and make sure that you're okay with this. Yes. Are you willing to provide a statement to us today? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You want to tell us what happened? Uh, 
I woke up with pants down, and he was pulling the pants down, and I hit him. I blacked out. And the night before, I'd stayed with him. He picked me up in New York. He says, oh, you look lost. You know, like, where are you from? This and that. And I said, it's dog time. He says, and I said I was going to New Jersey. And he said that he was, uh, he was headed to New Jersey, too. So I went with him to his house. And when I was at his house, he, he gave me a bunch of beers. And then I got kind of sleepy right before bed. I woke up. And I was like, there's a metallic taste in my mouth. And there's, like, cum going down the side of my face. And I, I felt violated. I went over to Asbury to meet a friend, and she wasn't showing up. I called him because I didn't think I had any other place to go. I went and I ate some food with him. He had made some burgers, like some homemade burgers. And then I, I, I don't remember much after that. I woke up on his floor, and he was, he was over top of me trying to take my pants down, and I started hitting him. I just blacked out. Okay, so you woke up on the floor? I woke up on the floor of the room. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just going to tell you one thing, okay? Um, we made the trip all the way down here, so... He died? So just listen to me. We made the trip all the way down here. We want to hear what you guys say. I want you to be honest with us, okay? Uh, I'm going to treat you with the utmost respect. I want to hear what you guys say, but I need you to be truthful to me. Tell us everything you want to tell us from the beginning on. He met me up in Times Square and said that he, he was going to Jersey too because he asked where I was going and said in New Jersey. That's how you get there from here. What time was that? On what day? That was... Was it a weekday? Beginning of the week, end middle of the week, end of the week? I think it was like Friday, Saturday. Okay. So what did you mean? I met him in Times Square or by the uh, Union Greyhound Depot. The what? The Greyhound Depot. Okay. Uh, where in the Greyhound Depot? I was out in Times Square outside of the Greyhound Depot. Okay. And so what happened? Well, I said that I was going out to Jersey. He seen me. He's like, oh, you look lost. Like, where are you headed to? I says, Jersey. He says, uh, oh, I'm, I'm headed there. Uh, you want to go get a bite to eat and stuff? And first I thought he was really nice. And then he fucking raped me. Where did you guys eat? Uh, he got some uh, Parmigiano stuff from an Italian restaurant nearby to where he lived. Okay. And then what do you guys do? The, we was drinking beer and, and he wanted to put the beer into a glass instead of a bottle. And uh, we watched some TV, uh, watched some, some stuff like showed him you know, videos of me online and then I felt sleepy, so I went to bed after last year and woke up. And Where did you fall asleep? In the guest room. In the guest room? Yeah. Okay. So did you go, what were you watching, um, the videos and um, showing him the various and looking there? Yeah. Where? I was in his living room. In his living room? Yeah. Can you describe that living room for us? No, I can't. Okay. Do you know what time it was that you guys were there drinking beers? It's like nine ish, that night. Okay. And how long did you guys drink beers for? It's like, I don't know, a couple hours. What kind of beer were you drinking? I can't remember. Do you remember what he was drinking? Was he drinking beer? Was he drinking wine? Was he drinking. I think he was drinking wine. He was drinking wine? <clears throat> How many beers did you drink? I drank a few, like five. Okay. And you fell asleep? Yeah. You fell asleep on the couch? No, in the guest room. Okay. Um, you walked to the guest room by yourself? 
well, yeah, it was kind of groggy, and you wanted me to take a shower. And you said, with him. I was like, no, I don't want to take a shower. I said, yeah, I went to bed. Okay. So then, do you take a shower or no? No, first night there, yeah. All right, and that's what, was that when you were drinking the beers? Yeah. And that's when he asked you to take a shower with him? Yeah. I says, no, I don't want to. Okay. And so what happened then? I went to bed. I woke up the next morning and there's metallic taste in my mouth and I had a really bad headache. And then he, I, I looked in the mirror and there's like calm coming down the side of my face. Okay. And then what, what do you do? I, I went over to Asbury. I, I didn't really know what to think about it. And then when my friend did Before you got to Asbury, what you see? What's the conversation after you wake up? You see what you have on your face. I didn't really say anything about it, like, to him. And what were, what were you when you woke up with the metallic taste in your mouth? I was on the gas bed. Okay, and what was he? Uh, he was he was in the doorway, um, saying it's time to get up. Okay. Did you ask him, like, anything? What is on your face and what's going on or anything like that? Did you confront him? No, I didn't. Okay, so then what happened? Well, I went over to Asbury to meet a friend on, on transit, and they weren't around, so I went back up Little Branch, he came over to pick me up, and yeah, I went down over to eat some food, and then I, I don't remember much after that, I had a couple of beers and drank, or ate some, ate some of the food that he cooked, and I, I don't got any memory until I was waking up on his floor and he was pulling down my pants and I just started hitting him. Okay, so, so now, he, remember from home, so Saturday night you meet him for the first time? I think that was the night, like... Right, you go to his house, you guys have some beers, right, you go to sleep in the guest room, you wake up, do you know what time do you wake up on Sunday? Like, not in the morning? What day was Mother's Day? Sunday. Sunday. Usually it's the second Sunday of, of, of May. Yeah, so I woke up on Sunday and I was in the gas room. Okay. And, and that's the, the day you wake up with the, with the mouth taste in your mouth? Yeah. Okay. And cum dripping to the side of your mouth? Yeah, there's, there's cum going on the side of the face. Okay. So what do you do? I just went to Asbury. I didn't, I don't know what to do. I, I called him up later because I was like, I needed a place to stay. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so you wake up, you have the metal taste in your mouth, you have cum on the side of your mouth. You confront him. No, I didn't. Okay, and you already knew that that's what was like in your mouth. That something had happened to you. Yes or no? I could taste something, yeah. Okay, and what did it taste like? Like cum. Okay. And there's metal taste in the mouth inside that. And so what do you guys do? You wake up, he tells you it's time to wake up? He drove me, he drove me over to New Jersey Transit and got me a ticket over to Asbury. Okay. Uh, that's where I went. And what do you say to him? I said goodbye. He says, you know, call me this number, email me if you ever need, you know, like a place to stay for a night or something. You gave him your number or he gave you? He gave me his. Okay. And then he buys you a train ticket? Yeah. Do you know where he buys your train ticket? To Asbury. Okay. Do you know where you go to take the train? Um, went to Railway. Okay. Um, he gives you a ticket and what do you do now? I went to Asbury to wait for a friend who said they were going to meet me at like one or two and five o'clock rolled around. They still weren't around. So I called him back. Okay. Who was the friend? Yeah, I can't remember her number, I lost the phone, I can't. What's her name? Um, can't remember her name right now. Okay. I've been in days since this happened, like I... You've been in days since yeah. it happened? Okay, fair enough. So, your friends don't show up? No, like I... <sighs> I got raped, like you're saying you're charging me first degree murder? Right. But let me finish telling me your side of the story, okay? You're in Asheville, you're waiting for your friends, right? 
I was in Ashbury waiting for waiting for friends. Yeah, and they they don't show up. Yeah, okay. I just like you know trying to message them on Facebook and stuff and like see if people meet me up and then like. Okay, so when you find travel, I'm sorry. That's just how it travel. Okay. So when your friends don't show up, what what do you do? I went back up the little branch. I called to see if he'd be able to put me up for a night. Oh, you took you went to Long Branch. Yeah. How'd you get there? A train. So you took the train from Asbury Park to Long Branch. Yeah. Okay. And so, how does you ask him to pick you up? Yeah. How do you get in touch with him? I try. I called him on. I called him on the phone. Okay. And what does he say? Uh, he said he he'd come on over and pick me up at Little Branch. Okay. So he drove down to pick you up. Yeah. How long did it take him to come down to pick you up? I don't know. How long were you waiting for? Uh, a couple hours, two hours maybe. Okay. He said that he was in the city again, like in New York City. Okay. So he comes out to pick you up, and what do you guys do? Um, he brought me back over to his place and said that uh, he didn't want to order out that night, and he gave me some burgers, and he gave me one of the burgers to eat. Cooked up the burger and uh, drank a few beers. Okay. By the way, what was he driving when he came down to pick you up? It was a red PT Cruiser. Okay. And when he gets, where does he meet you at? Little Branch. I'm sorry? Little Branch. Little Branch? Yeah, New Jersey Transit. Okay. And does he get out of the car and come get you? How does that work? He just pulled up. He's like, get in. Okay, and you got in? Yeah. Voluntarily? Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, you got in, and do you ask him to take you anywhere? No, he just drove me back to his place. Okay. Do you make any stops along the way? Not that I can remember, no. Okay. Um, no stops at all? No. Like to get coffee or anything like that? Not that I can remember, no. Okay. Uh, you go straight to his house? Uh, we went to his house, yeah. Okay, so when you get ask him to his house, what, you get, what happens? Like, does he park outside? Does he park... You he parked in the garage, and then he started cooking the food, and um, gave me a couple of beers, and I drank a couple of beers, and then when I ate the food, like, that's all I remember after that, is waking up on the floor and trying to pull down my pants. Okay. Um, so you wake up on the floor where? Of his room. His room? Yeah. Can you describe how his house is laid out to? Um, it's like, there's the garage, and then the kitchen, and then the living room, and then another room, and then the guest room at the far corner, and then his room over there. Okay. And so, when you fall asleep, where did you fall asleep at? The first night? The second night. The second night, I, I, I didn't fall asleep. You said you were groggy? Yeah, I passed out on his floor. I don't remember much after when I ate the sandwich until like when I woke up on the floor. I don't remember anything. Okay. Do you know what time it was? It's like... I don't know when I woke up. It was like... I don't, I don't really remember. It was late. How late was it like? I don't know, like evening time, like nine, ten. Nine, ten? Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's really groggy because like, I, I, I woke up and I was like, it was like I was under the influence of something and then like, well, I don't really remember much of it. Okay, so you wake up on the floor with your pants down? Yeah, he's pulling down my pants. Okay. And how was he dressed? Uh, he, he was using his underwear. Okay. He was using his underwear? <coughs> How much of his clothing did he remove? Uh, of, of my clothing? Yes. Uh, he was working on the pants. And... Okay. Well, your, was your underwear removed? I didn't wear any underwear. Okay. Uh, when you wake up, were you aroused? No. No? Did you have, did you have an erection? No. Okay. So you wake up on the floor, you see him trying to pull your pants down and he's in underwear. 
What happens next? I just hit him. I don't remember. I blacked out. How many times you hit him? I don't know. I blacked out. How did you hit him? I don't even remember. I was like, I was in a daze when it happened. I was confused about where I was. I was confused about what was going on. I, I, he was like, he was, he was trying to manhandle me. Okay. He like, threw me around. I was like, what did you hit him with? Uh, I just, I just hit him. Were your hands? Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't, could I open them? Need him? I don't know. Okay. Um, so you had him. What happens to him? What was he doing? He just, he kept trying to get me down. And like, I, I, I grabbed him and then like, tried, like he kept trying to fucking get on top of me and I was like, I, I, I was scared, I didn't know who the fuck it was, like... Okay. So how do you find him to get him off of you? Like, I, I fucking hit him in the head, and... Like, and he was still on top of me last I remember. And like... Like, I... I, I, I don't know what, what he gave me, but like, fucking... I have a hard time remembering that. You do? Okay. So, um, does he finally stop? Like, I don't really remember, like, that whole thing, like, it's like, it's like a black spot, like. Okay. Um, whenever he stops, what do you do next? I, I left and, and walked to, uh, do you pull your pants back up? Yeah. Okay. What were you wearing? Um, I was I was wearing a jeans and a shirt. What are you wearing now? No. Where is where are those clothes? Are they in your bag? No. I don't, I don't remember where I put them. Okay. So um, do you change in the house? I don't remember. Okay. So you decide to leave the house, right? So yeah. How, how do you leave the house? I don't remember. Like, it, it, was, it was all fucking days after that. And then, like, my head was hurting. And, like, I, I, I got that funny fucking taste in my mouth again. Like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't fucking know what was going on at that point. Okay. I just knew I needed to get out of there. I was just like... So you had funny taste the first morning and then that night? Yeah. The metallic, the metallic taste in your mouth. Yeah. Was it the same taste? Did it taste like cum? It was like, it, it didn't taste like cum, it tasted like something, like a drug or something. Okay. Did you recall in any way, like, how you leave the house? No. You go through the front door, you go out the back, is there a window? Or... I don't remember, man. You don't remember? Okay, so... You leave the house, what do you do next? I remember I was at a diner. Okay. Yeah. And what are you doing at the diner? I talked to some dudes who had like seen that video online and like they helped me out with some, some cash for a train. Caught a train over to a uh, long branch or a little branch or whatever it's called. And, um, then I, I slept underneath a, uh, slept underneath a, uh, a restaurant kind of rail car thing. Okay, did you try, like, to call the police or anything to report that this has happened to you? No. Why not? Because I'm an undocumented legal immigrant. Okay, you, you were assaulted, right? Well, I can't just call them and be like, well, who are you, where are you from, like... I'm an undocumented illegal immigrant. I don't fucking exist. Okay. So you don't call the police? No. Okay. Um, so you go to Long Branch, you said? Low Branch, Long Branch? Yeah. Okay. How you, how you get there? On the train. Okay, how you get to the train? Um, I, I walked from that, that diner. And how long was the walk? It was a while. Yeah. yeah. How did you know how to get to the train? Um, I asked some of the guys at the diner where the, uh, where the, uh, 
the station was. Was it the same station that you were there? You were earlier. Yeah. Okay. Um, you call anybody? You call for help? No. No. Okay. I don't know anybody to call for help to. Okay. Um, so you get down to Long Branch, mm -hmm. right? What happens next? I fell asleep underneath the place, and I went to a went to a, a train in the morning. Dunkin' Donuts I went to first. I ended up getting over to Asbury. We didn't wait over to hear the Philly. Okay. Do you meet with anybody? Like uh, I met a bunch of people, but I mean, like I'm. Remember names and stuff. Just strangers that you run into? Yeah. Okay. Um, how long do you stay in Asbury? Um, not very long. I went to the library and I went to the Salvation Army to get some food and I went to Asbury. Okay. And then what are you doing in Asbury? Anything else? So from Ashbury, what do you do? Can I get a drink of water? Hey, you got something there? No, it's uh oh, thank you, sir. Good thing, Joseph. I should probably be talking to the lawyer, shouldn't I? I can't give you legal advice. It's up to you. You know, it's a decision that you have to make on your own. I'm just here to try to get your side of the story. Uh, this is probably the only chance I'll, uh, you'll have to speak to us. So, I can't give you legal advice. You decide on your own. I want to talk to a lawyer. Okay, fair enough. Um, time is approximately 10.50 p.m. Uh, Mr. Waters has decided to speak on the train. So, we're going to end the statement with time. You think you'd be able to find me another cigarette? I'm going to say, okay. Um, that's your. This is uh, your paperwork? That's your arrest warrant? Okay. That's your copy to keep? Before I leave this room, do you have any further questions for us? What's up? Before we leave this room, do you have any other questions for us? Once I walk out of this room, I won't be able to talk to you again. Do you have any questions for us? What's the penalty of this crime in New Jersey? No, that's uh, not up to us to decide. It's up to the judge to decide. The judge will final, make the final determination. Is, uh, is the death penalty legal of theirs in New Jersey? Well, we'll, we'll, um, okay, we'll, we're, we're done, okay? You asked for an attorney, so we're going to have to stop talking. Good luck. Thanks.